at 11 o'clock tonight, connecting for crime. Police in our area are increasingly turning to social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter to solve crimes. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Quinones is live in the Web Center now with more on this new approach. Todd. And Chris, never before have people been able to connect with the Philadelphia Police Department like they can at this point. Right now, for example, police, they're looking for this man who shoved a shotgun in a woman's face at a bar. He stole about $200, and now people are connecting through the department's website, Twitter, and Facebook accounts, and they're sending in their own tips. An unidentified gunman who robbed a store in December might have easily gotten away with it. But police posted the video on YouTube and got a tip. Now they have a name. The suspect has been identified as 39-year-old Jeffrey Bellamy. Detectives worked the lead, and now we have an active arrest warrant for this male right here. But it doesn't end there. Another tip through the department's Facebook page indicated Bellamy was seen at a Wawa in the city. Police now like their chances he'll be arrested soon. People are on, uh, on the web all the time, they're on their phones, so why not utilize that? Everyone has a cell phone that has a web capability. It is a new age in crime fighting. Since kids are using social media to organize flash mobs, the police department is now designing a Facebook page geared towards teens. Say if uh, something happened at 32nd and Tasker, and we could Facebook, say, kids that go to VAIR, their high school, so it's kind of in the area, so maybe kids from that school may know what's going on. But the new digital direction of the department isn't just about providing tips. People can also file complaints about police officers online. Maybe you feel intimidated already from the officer that you had this complaint with. Complaints filed through the department's website are being sent to Internal Affairs. And tomorrow, the department will unveil their own sort of top 10 list, a top 10 list of criminals who have been caught on camera but not caught by police. And if you're interested in checking out this website, we've established a link to ours at cbsphilly.com. Reporting live tonight in the Web Center, Ty Quinones for CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, one more important way technology is changing the world. Todd, thank you very much.